Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how I make my thumbnails and how you can make your own on easily just using a little program called Paint.net. So, so let's get right into it. So the first thing to make your thumbnail, if you're on Paint.net, you're if you're I'm going to be using Paint.net. Um, if you don't have Paint.net, uh, I recommend getting it. It's cheap and it's a uh, it's worth it. But if you're not using Paint.net, if you're using something like Microsoft Paint or Paint 3D, you can probably follow along just fine. So first, you just get the screenshot or image that you want to turn into your thumbnail. Drag that on top of the window and click Add Layer. This will add um, a layer for that. So once you do that, if you haven't already, you see these four buttons up here? If you haven't already, click this one, click this one, and click this one. This will add the tools icon, the layers icon, and the colors icon. So, so now that you're all set up, I would recommend you select this tool and kind of like morph your image in the way that you want it. Like if you want it bigger, like this. So it's like more focused. So once you got it what you like, just click deselect and, it, and then it should just stay like that. So this background part, you can and delete that right there cuz this is supposed this is your real background. So now that you got it like this, click this um click this add layer icon right here and then once you got that, click the lines button over here or the lines tool. So this will you're going to make an outline for your character. Um, I recommend using the color white, which because it stands out and it fits with any other color. So just set it, set the line to something like 20, because that's 20 something around 20, like 25 or 15, but 20 is what I recommend. So kind of just go to one of the corners of your character and drag along to the next corner. And you can just keep on doing that, and it will slowly but surely make Ooh. an out. Darn it! It will slowly but surely make an outline for your character. So just keep on on filling every every spot in until your your character or whatever is the main focus on. It can be like an object or like a building or something like that too. It, it can't. It doesn't have to just be this. So now that you've got this, this next part is optional, but I recommend it. So on your layer with the with the lines on it, click Effects, Photo, and Glow. Turn up the radius all the way, and I'll add a little glow effect to that your character, which will really make it pop out to everything else. So the next thing you want to do, get the um, get the background and duplicate it. It, uh, it sounds weird, but it, it it it's duplicating layers is gonna it's kind of a pattern when making thumbnails on um, Paint.net or pretty much anything. So get the get the top layer, go to effects, uh, blurs, and then unfocus. Turn the radius to anything you like, because this is going to be like the background background. Well, the thing highlighted, which is me in this case, is going to is going to be not unfocused. And I'll show you how to do that in a sec. So I, I normally put it around here just so you can kind of like a picture what's behind there, but not like all the way up so it doesn't just look like... A bunch of colors and it won't it'll barely load that anyways so now you got it like this make sure you're still select make sure you blurred it on the on the this one but if if you didn't there's an easy fix you can just move this in front but obviously I didn't make that mistake so I'm gonna I just have to keep it like that 
So change your um, brush size to something like 100. Wait, no, not 200. 100. Something like 100. Something small. Like 100, 90, 95. It, it really doesn't matter size, but kind of just erase the inside of the inside area of the lines or the border. So I just finished erasing everything inside. And if you don't want your thumbnail to have any text in it, you're pretty much done. But for the but if you do want to uh, add text inside this video, just keep on watching. So now oh We'll go up to the first layer and add a new layer. Click the text icon right here. Now we'll change the text size to something like something large, but it doesn't have to be huge. I'm making mine huge just because is um why not? So just pick pick think of two colors that like are big and bold or like two bright bold colors that look good together in my thumbnails I use the colors blue and orange so I'm gonna for the first word it's gonna say fake right here and down here it's gonna say thumbnail so it's gonna be like fake thumbnail because this isn't an actual thumb thumbnail so first of all get go to your whatever first color also if you're are making a um, thumbnail that only has one word on on it you only have to you only have to pick one color so pick a a bright gradient of the color and then on the secondary spot pick a slightly darker gradient like this this is perfect and also for for the color you're thinking don't make it something like navy blue or like dark red or like mid purple <laughs> Because those you need colors to stand out. Also, if you want a color to be brighter, don't move it towards the middle so it has a tint, a white tint to it. it I recommend moving moving it like towards the sides or something, where it can b blend with another color. For example, with red, if you want it to be brighter, move it slightly like towards the orange area instead of just straight up moving it up because that just kind of makes it look a little ugly so now that you got your two colors make sure the primary color is the brighter one so just write in in a also I forgot pick a font um, I recommend in like looking online for like good font to your thumbnail and good fonts for your thumbnail and like pick one you like uh, personally, my favorite font has to be um, the Burbank font, if I can find it. But, like, I also recommend Obliex Pro. Oh, and, and in case you don't know, Obliex Pro is also the Mr. Beast font, in case you just want to know. So, you can write in all caps, but... You don't have to, you can just do it something like this. But if you want your thumbnail to really stand out, I recommend putting it in all caps. I can make my text a little bigger. So now you got uh, the first word in your sentence. Um, go, go to the magic wand, hold down shift, and click one of the letters. It'll select the whole word, and then you can click gradient and click right below it. Now it's turned into the the secondary color. And if see this little like little dot, move that around and it'll cr and it kind of makes a gradient. So see this little dot represents the brighter color, and this one represents the darker color. So put that in a way you like it. I recommend just putting the darker color on the bottom with the brighter one on top which which in my opinion just looks best so you can deselect that and it is already looking a lot better you can make it look even better so go to duplicate layer to pretty much just duplicate that layer and then click go on go on the 
bottom layer of the two that you duplicated and click move selected pixel pixels now use the bottom use the down arrow to move it it down just a little don't move it around with your mouse you'll understand why in a second just move it down just to like right here now I'll go to adjustments brightness and turn the brightness down look at that it adds a 3d effect to your it adds a really cool 3d effect to your text which makes it so much better so now you got this little cool well, um this really cool 3d text so get the top layer of the two layers that are duplicated and merge it down to the layer below so now the word fake it you can move it around if you want but obviously you can just keep it there so oh this next step is optional but I personally like to do it go to make sure you're select you're selected the right layer go to effects um, photo glow and you can make your your text glow and it makes and it honestly looks really cool it kinda makes it a lot more brighter it just really makes your thumbnail stand out which you want you want your thumbnail to stand out against other thumbnails so people would click on it so add a new layer and now select the new orange colors or whatever colors you want so kind of a brighter brighter shade of whatever color you want and more of a darker shade of whatever you want look look at that now do exactly what you did earlier was, I'm just saying for the text it's okay if it goes on top of the main focus a little but as long as it's not like covering like not just like covering it like this it's fine and right just something like this it's perfectly fine and also just saying orange looks really good with gradients especially in thumbnails look at that duplicate it and move the other and the bottom one down so now I got both of the um, both of the text and you could stop there but there's one more step you can do which really adds to it. It's a little tiny detail, but it adds so much. So, oh, click the rectangle select icon, go to ooh, one of the layers with the text on it, and and highlight the bottom part of the text. Now go to adjustments, brightness and contrast, and turn it down, turn the brightness down just a little just like that and yeah just deselect look at that it makes it kind of adds like kind of like a shiny thing almost like it's reflecting or it's like more 3d but it just whatever it does it makes it so much better so you can do this to both of the text or just one of them if you only had one in text go ahead and do the exact same thing with your other text if you have it have another text add that deselect boom you are done so your, your thumbnail what's perfect is is done completely if you want to look online for like more tutorials and stuff so you can add more this is pretty much it's what I would this is pretty much the kind of thumbnails that I like to make in the style so now if now if you want to a um export this just click on i don't need to go like this click on file save as and then click this button and you can click uh jpeg png uh gif and anything but for for the th for thumbnails and stuff, I would recommend like a PNG or a JPEG. So just like this, set the quality all the way up, and make sure it's like double check that your thumbnail is still like high quality and stuff. So once 
once you click save it's gonna have this pop up click flatten and boom you're done you can safely close this window and your thumbnail will be right here on your desktop and I can just open it up and boom here it is if you really liked today's video be sure to subscribe like the video uh, comment your feelings share this with your friends and that's pretty much it see you in the next video guys bye